All right, so I forgot to record my audio or turn it on, so I'm going to just try and kind of go over what we're doing here. Um, so we're going to focus on painting highlights first. So we want to make sure we're using um, the lightest colors from the color wheel. So think kind of yellow and yellow's neighbors, such as yellow-orange, yellow-green. Um, the main thing is we're going to be using the wet-on-wet -wet technique again. So whatever colors you choose for your background, you're going to want to make sure they mix nicely. So do not use colors on the opposite sides of the color wheel. Um, so for highlights, I usually stay true to using pretty much yellow. Um, so here I am just getting my yellow real wet and kind of getting as much out onto my paint palette as possible. Um, and I'm going to add some water to that to just make sure I have a nice pool. So here you can see I'm starting to paint with water. So mainly around Bert's nose is his lightest area on his face. Um, so remember, you're just going to keep layering the water until it has a nice shine. The smaller areas, um, you don't have to do a big area at one time um, because you're not trying to get the whole paper wet. You don't have areas drying while you're trying to get other areas wet. So, I mean, I still like to coat over it with quite a bit of water just to make sure that it's not going to dry out. Um, I believe I'm going to be adding some orange to this. And so I just want to be able to dab the yellow and orange and have them blend nicely together, which is why I'm getting this whole area wet first. So I'm going to just kind of dab in some yellow into some different areas, leaving quite a bit of white space, kind of unpainted areas for the orange. So I'm getting my orange wet. Um, I have a little bit of yellow that kind of escaped into that side of my palette, so I'm going to use it and kind of create a slightly yellowy orange. Adding water, adding more pigment. I don't want it to be too dark. So if you ever find that you've mixed it too dark, um, you can always dab some of that out later. But you can see, since it's wet, I'm just dabbing it in and kind of letting it do its thing. So I also have Bert's picture right next to me, which I'm going to be showing you guys kind of intermittently. Um, to kind of look at where the highlight areas are and the midtones. So these pauses are probably where I'm kind of looking at Bert. Oh, see, I'm showing you the light areas in the ears. So um, obviously I did the right ear differently, but I'm going to make the ears a little bit lighter because I want more contrast. Um, most of Burt is pretty dark or medium, so I want to add in more highlight areas or kind of make some of those areas a little bit bigger so that um, we have more contrast. When we have more contrast, it makes things a little more interesting. So here I am just kind of dabbing in some color. Going to add a little bit of yellow. Again, you don't want to dab too much everywhere, otherwise it's just going to make a yellow orange and you will not see the kind of separation of the two colors. Bear with me too, I had some questions um, being asked by students and so some of the pauses may be a little bit longer than I'd like. I think a student was asking if they needed to paint all the white areas yellow and um, white. And so I was just clarifying that for my class that yes, those would be the highlight areas which we are doing our lightest colors. Um, 
So Bert has some highlighted areas around his eyes too. And so I'm gonna come back and kind of add those in. The really small areas, I often don't get them wet first because it kind of defeats the purpose. You don't really um, have a big area to work with. And so you can kind of just paint it. And then if you wanted to add something in it, it's gonna stay wet just because it was such a small area. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. He has some highlights right around his eyes. I don't worry too much about staying inside the lines. Like I said in the last video, I really like a loose kind of style, which is almost like a glorified sloppiness. Um, I like it to look purposefully kind of messy. And so I don't worry too much about it being perfect. So um, I had some pools kind of happening in the ears. So here I am drying out my brush, blotting them out. Um, sometimes if you let small pools dry, they can make a really cool, um, they can have a really cool look along the edges, kind of have some dark kind of outlines, but I'm blotting them out just because I'm, I was hoping it would maybe dry a little bit faster. I think I said, I felt like since I blotted it out it was going to be really light and keep in mind it does dry even lighter than what it looks like on your paper when it's wet so if you're worried about it being too light like I was I just dabbed in just a little bit more color adding a little orange to some of these areas to make it a little more interesting and that's about it for the highlights